Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the synopsis for the 100th episode, so the teaser. But also we got some photos for a new episode that is coming out this week. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the photos we're going to talk to you about is from episode 12, the episode that's coming up next. Obviously we've been on a break for about, what was it, about two weeks now. And so Wynn's in this episode, and then Wynn will be in the next episode. The next episode after that is a synopsis we're going to be talking about in today's video. The 100th episode is finally here, and it's episode 13 of season 5. So, without further ado, let's get into this. We're going to talk about the synopsis for the 100th episode first, because that is like the big thing I'm pretty sure you all have been wanting me to talk about, because... You know, it came out maybe like three days ago, just been very busy, and now I'm finally getting around to breaking it down. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the synopsis. So, this is for It's a Super Life, that is the title of the episode, unless they change it last minute. This is how the synopsis goes. Thomas Lennon guest stars in Supergirl's 100th episode. Mixes Pilik returns with a proposition for Kara. What if she could go back in time and tell Lena her secret before Lex did, would things turn out different? Looking back over key moments throughout the series, Kara must decide if she wants to change history to become friends with Lena again. Familiar faces return in this special episode. So this episode is coming on the 23rd of February, and it's currently the 11th right now. So it's literally under two weeks until we get the 100th episode. Obviously the 100th episode is going to be massive because, you know, all these episodes have led up to this and then I guess like once you reach other milestones it's big but you know 100 is a big one not many TV shows go on to like 200 or something like that so this is really to look forward to and not to miss but let's go ahead and break down the synopsis so Thomas Lennon guest stars in Supergirl's 100th episode as Mr. Mixius Pilik which I practiced many times a few years ago when we had to say it in videos when the other version of Mr. Mixius Pilik actually was there or you can just say Mixie like they say in the TV show because it's hard. But anyway, so yeah, he's been recast, but he's returning. And I think the reason for them not bothering about having to recast is due to the fact that it's part of his character. You know, he can change, he can shift, he can, you know, play tricks. So it doesn't really matter that much unless obviously the other actor was much better than this actor. We don't know as of right now, but I'm glad Mixie is coming back even if it's not our normal version of Mixie that we saw in season 2 in that brilliant few episodes. Like, he came at the end of one episode and he was in the whole next episode with especially Monel and Kara and the back and forths there were just amazing and I can't wait to see this. And so, yeah, let's go ahead. So, Mixie's Spillick returns with a proposition for Kara. What if she could go back in time and tell Lena her secret before Lex did? Would things turn out different? So we actually predicted this a long time ago when they first announced, you know, the title or when the first title got leaked. And when we started to get some information, obviously the title is a reference to It's a Wonderful Life. In It's a Wonderful Life, there is basically a situation where George Bailey, the main character, is able to see what his life would be like if it was changed, if it was different, if he never existed. So they're doing their own iteration of that in that Mixie's taking her back in time and he's able to show her and potentially change the past to do with Lena. So I've seen some people online kind of upset that it's about Lena, but I think, you know, it's just a gimmick and it's actually mainly about Kara because it's Kara's decisions but I guess it's linked to Lena, so I wouldn't get mad about that. I don't think it's going to be that heavily to do with Lena. I think, obviously, you're going to go back in time, check out this other stuff with all these other people, but, you know, the goal will be maybe changing it to help her friendship with Lena and everything that has been going on recently. However, I don't think it's, like, going to be all about Lena. It's about Kara and about her progression over the years. So, yeah, let's move on. Let's read this next bit. Looking back over key moments throughout the series, Kara must decide if she wants to change history to become friends with Lena again. So, what does this mean? Looking back over key moments, that means we're going to go back to Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4 more recently, and you're going to see all these returning characters. It seems... Extremely likely you're going to see the return of 1L, you're going to see the return of Chris Wood, 
because he teased it in an interview recently that he was around in Vancouver when they were filming and it seems literally like 90% certain Monel is going to return. I'm not sure about the status of a lot of other characters who were big in the past like Cat Grant or any of the other big ones. As of right now, as far as I can remember, we definitely know there's going to be Lex's bodyguards are going to return, so that is Mercy and Otis Graves. We know Ben Lockwood's returning, so they're from Season 4. Monel would be from Season 2 and 3, probably more likely Season 2. Obviously, you've got the return of Mixie from Season 2, and you have other characters as well, but I can't remember them off the top of my head, but I know we're going to see a lot of returning characters, which is obviously going to be really cool for us. And it's going to be, you know, Kara looking back, seeing the choices she's made and the people she met and the people who were in her life. I guess maybe we could see like a cameo from like James or someone, but I don't know if McCard was around to film. And so the test is going to be, will Kara change history just to become friends with Lena again? Is that a thing that's going to happen? And I don't think by the end of the episode she's going to change it because that's the plot in It's a Wonderful Life. He wants to change, he wants to, you know, not live anymore, but by the end he comes to this realisation that, you know, the world is right because, you know, he exists and without George Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life, the town will go to shit. And so I think Kara is probably going to come to the realisation, and obviously Mixie's going to help her on the way, that, you know, she shouldn't change the past, she should just sort of move forward and get on with stuff and she will eventually become friends with Lena again. I guess there is a possibility that they could maybe go the other way in that they do change the past, maybe a little bit, but I don't see that as very, very likely. And so, yeah, let's move on to the final sentence. Familiar faces return in this special episode. So among those familiar faces, like I mentioned, a few of them so far, obviously Wynn is on the show right now. This is going to be his last episode before he goes away. Maybe Jeremy will return next season, but... It seems like he's going to be pretty busy because I believe he's back on Broadway or he's like on an off-Broadway show. So he's around New York at the moment. But I'm glad that he's came back for these three episodes and I really can't wait for it. But anyway, let's move on to this week's photos for the Back From The Future Part 2 episode. So the first photo is of Andrea and she's with Kelly. They're in Obsidian. It looks like there is some sort of scan going on of her brain. So something has affected her and they're going to be looking into that. The next photo is in the DEO. You can see the agents in the background. I believe they have their guns out, so maybe there is some sort of threat or I could be mistaken, but they're really blurred out. But anyway, so Kara's in the foreground. She's looking kind of distressed, I would say. And then we go to Brainy and Wynn. They are together. They're looking at the screen. Then you see another photo of Jeremy as Wynn. He's still in his superhero costume, which should be noted. I think his costume is actually really, really cool. And I'm excited to see him maybe get some more action this episode and the 100th episode as well. So, yeah, there's just a bunch of photos of them two together looking at this tablet. And so let's move on to this. We see Alex, Brainy and Wynn. They're all sort of in this stance, this sort of fighting stance. And you can see on Brainy's face and actually all their faces that... They are kind of puzzled by something, and so maybe some sort of fight's about to go on. But then we move to later in the day, it looks like it's evening. We see Kara and Alex in the DEO. There's nothing much you can break down about some of these photos, but they just look cool. Especially this photo, this next one, you see them both standing together. The sort of camera's a bit lower. You have the red lights, so maybe there's some sort of warning, and it's just really cool. So let's move on. We got Kara and Wynn. Folding their arms, Wynn's got his arms on his hips, something is going on right here. Then we got Lex, you know, in the DEO doing his work that he's been doing recently. This is the episode also where Kara is going on the date with William, and Kara is here in that bar, sort of smiling. So we're going to have to wait and see where that actually leads us in the end. But we got Alex and Jean, they're sitting together in the bar. I don't know if it's the same bar, I reckon it is. But they're just having some sort of conversation. And yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.